Greetings and welcome to a brand new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So today we are going to create something funny. A couple of weeks ago I got a question from Patrick and he says could you show us in the future how to make a ground pound like Super Mario? Pretty please? <laughs> I'd really appreciate it. And you know that's that's a pretty cool question and I sat down and I thought about how it could be done and so I think I've come up with something that might be uh, doable um, or useful at least so that's what we're gonna do today create a ground pound function so we will use this third person template with starter content and we will call the project ground pound project <laughs> now if you'd rather just get the functionality and not do the tutorial I have created an asset pack on my store on Game Dev Central for a few bucks where I've lined everything up for you so you even can you can just select the character and you can change the impact strength impact radius and easily change the particle effects and the sound effect and so you get a little project where you can you know do this so that's a possibility if not we will go through it right now I won't make it exactly as thorough because that's that is, we don't have to do that now so we will simply make sure the character can jump and then smash down and when he smashes down he will emit an impact that will you know radiate out and if you have any destructible meshes or you know movable meshes around they will flow around you know uh, or get thrown around now what's happening here we go <laughs> okay so let's go into our character so third person blueprint blueprint third person character open that now go to viewport and let's just add the things we need so add components search for radial this will be the radial force and we will call this ground pound radial force now with it selected go over here and just to make sure it actually works no matter what take the force strength to like 100 destructible damage 200 you know you can you can change these later to be as powerful as you want that's probably good now compile and save and let's go to the event graph So, first of all, let's grab this jump box. What? They're not joining. There we go. And just separate it because we're going to use this. So, drag this out. Make some space. Oops. Now, create a new variable and we will call it B is jumping and compile then hold in alt and drag it in here click control and drag this put it here and connect it there so and set it so while we jump we set this for is jumping now compile again now we can create a new variable and it will be another boolean and it is b is 
ground pounding. Compile. I'm actually just gonna save. So save everything as someone told me in a comment. Hold in shift and control and S and then you save everything. Thank you. That's that's really helpful <laughs> to know. Okay, so the next thing is go up to edit and project settings and we're gonna set a key that will be the ground pound key. So go down to input action mappings. We'll call this simply ground pound. And we're gonna be so inventive that this will be the E key. Yes. Like so. So when that's done, just click out here and we will right click in the third person character event graph and search for ground pound action events ground pound now we will drag out pressed and we will have a branch and we can get this is jumping so just take this and plop it in here so if the character is jumping, then we will be able to perform the ground pound. So we can create a new function. And this will be ground pound. Just compile. Now, We can set this. No, we're gonna get this like so. Branch. Connect this. So if we are ground pounding, then we will do something. And we're gonna do this something once. And what we will do is we will take our ground pound radial force. So we can just drag this in and drag this out and search for fire impulse. Like so. Because we want the impulse to <laughs> when we do this. And you know, when we do this, we can play a sound. So play sound at location. This can be a, an explosion, for example. Now, we want, it would be cool to have an emitter. So if we spawn, whoops, spawn emitter at location. Where am I? Here we go. Add location. Now, we want the emitter to spawn down here, right? Because if we just spawn at location here, then it's gonna play the explosion right here, and we don't want that. So we can fix that by adding an arrow. And we can call this ground pound emitter location and we can move this down here like so because when he jumps down then then yeah this will be good I think so compile and go back to the ground pound and get your emitter location and put it down here and drag out here and search for get world location now connect the get world location to this spawn emitter at locations location like so and when this is done we will set the ground b is ground pounding so set it and we will set it to not ground pounding because we're done so do not have this checked so compile now you can go back 
to the event graph. And when you click the E key and you are jumping, then we are going to set B is ground pounding. Like so. Because then you are in the action of pounding the ground. Now we can drag out here and we can search for launch launch character so when you click the E key or press it you will launch the character toward the ground so you can take the Z axis minus I don't know let's let's take something crazy 5, 1500 for example compile so and then what happens when the character is actually landing that's when we're going to use our ground pound function so right click and search for event on landed so when the character lands we're going to get the ground pound function like so so in here we have all of this right and when that's done, we will set B is jumping to not true. So just like this, unchecked. And I think actually that's it. So we jump and when we are jumping, we are able to press E. So if jumping is true and we press E, we are ground pounding and then we launch our character toward the ground. And when we hit the ground, so if we are ground pounding and we hit the ground, we will fire the radial impulse, play a sound, spawn an explosion. Yes, we need to spawn the explosion. So we select the explosion here or whatever emitter you want and then we are done and we're not ground pounding anymore and when we're not ground pounding anymore we are also not jumping anymore okay so this makes sense so compile and save and go back to ground pound and after that's why we have the do once because after we're done ground pounding we will connect this to reset on do once like so and I'm just gonna do like this so it's easier to see it's very beautiful right okay so when we're done with that we reset it and we can do it again right makes sense seems logical so let's go out and test our character we run around we're happy and we jump and we Boom! It looks like it works. Let's see if it works by creating some boxes that we can uh, explode. So go to starter content and shapes perhaps. Shape cube. I'm just gonna duplicate that so control W. I'm gonna call it my cube. Save it and drag it out here. I want it want to have it a little bit smaller. So on the scale 0.7, no, 0.5 all the way. Oops. Like so. And in order to be able to move it around, we need to simulate physics. And that's probably enough. Let's see. Yes, now, now we can move it around. We jump. And nothing happens. Let's see. I bet 
I've done something wrong on the radial force. Yes, on the impulse. Impulse velocity change. Yes, yes, yes. Ignore owning actor. Yes, yes. So, check those, compile, and let's try again. There we go. Boom! That wasn't really powerful though, but... Let's see, let's duplicate this a little bit. So, Control w Control w And double me, double us. Lame humor. Let's create a spectacle. Something that our grandchildren can be proud of. Right? And I did it again, yes. Okay, so. And let's uh, go back to the radial force and really increase this. So take the radius for uh, on 300 and impulse strength can be, or force strength perhaps. Let's try 500. Impulse strength, strength. let's take 1500 just for fun and compile and let's go back and see. Now, expect the world to shatter. Whoops. <laughs> Boom! Am I right? <laughs> Alright, so that's how you can do it. So, yeah, hope that was helpful and have a great day.